Welcome! Picking up where we left off in part 1, we'll view and configure our full-scale settings. There are two ways to do so, using the controller display or the Fusion Control Panel software. First, let's go over the default settings. It will be easier to view them using the control panel, and then we will make changes using both methods. To access the control panel, you must first install the software, which is provided free with your controller. Then connect to the controller using a USB cable and open the program. With USB selected as your interface, click the connect button on the left hand side of the screen. Then select the Zone 1 tab. You will find your feedback type listed here, and by default it will be set to RMS voltage. You can choose another feedback type using this drop down list. Next, we will look at full scale settings. The default line voltage will be 480 volts, which is what the controller is at. Full scale current will depend on the frame current size of the controller. And we can automatically calculate power and limits by clicking this button. Limits are calculated based on your full scale settings. Voltage limit by default is set to 630 volts, which is the limit of the controller. Current limit is 1.05 times full scale current. And current trip will be 1.75 times full scale current in phase angle mode and 4 times full scale current in zero cross mode. Power limit is 1.05 times full scale power. All of the settings we've mentioned can be changed using the fields on the control panel. So for example, let's say we're using 415 volts for our line voltage, and we have a silicon carbide load, which is a variable resistance load. In that case, current will fluctuate based on temperature and aging, and we will want to maintain steady power, so let's use power as our feedback type. When we change our full scale settings, our first question should be, what is the nominal line voltage? Well, in this case, we have 415 volts, so we'll enter that here for full scale voltage. Next, we want to consider what is full load amps when we're at lowest voltage, at 5 or 10% voltage sag. We'll enter 60 amps. Next, we click this button to calculate power and limits. Once you've entered new values, click the reset button to be sure everything is applied. Then, Click Connect. Afterward, you may want to save a config file so you can return to these settings. To change the same settings using the controller display, use the up-down arrow keys to scroll until you find the settings you're looking for. If there is a dot next to the setting, you can edit the value. Press the green checkmark button and it will change the dot to a small arrow. Then use the plus and minus buttons until you reach the desired setting or value. Press the green button again to save the change, and the arrow will turn back to a dot. So again, we've chosen power as our feedback type. We put 415 volts, our nominal line voltage. And then we use 60 amps for full scale current. Then using the formulas we covered earlier, you calculate power and limits and enter them respectively. For more information, visit our website at www.cci.power.com or contact the experts at Control Concepts Incorporated.